guys, it's me, Linwood, and this is the hanging ring knot. Now, I'm going to move closer, that way you can kind of see it from the side and also from the front. And I do want to also note for you that this does have a different variation where you can bring it down like this here. And it almost looks like the strap of a belt or of a woman's purse or something, uh, how it kind of weaves in and out like that. So it's uh, literally like a hanging ring that your knot or your tie is able to kind of go through there. And so I'm going to take this baby down. We'll go ahead and get started from there. Okay, so now that we've got it taken down, as I said earlier, it is a ring knot. So you will need some sort of ring. And I would also like to say this one here is just a basic black one of the make a statement rings but um honestly i really think that this would look great with a metallic ring like the uh the gold and the silver metal ones they make you can get them in the craft section pretty easily without any major issues um but this one here is just a plain black one wrapped in some fabric there like a macrame type pattern um i've got my tie here and let me take off my vest just to help out with y'all's vision. Um, my tie, for all those who are wondering, is actually from Express. I got it on clearance for $8. And um, that's the type of deal I'm talking about. So with this one here, uh, this is not my traditional type of knot. So I will be doing the bulk of the tying with the large end uh, rather than with the small end. Uh, this is a skinny tie also, just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to place the skinny end of my tie right around my belly button. And I'm going to go ahead and do this knot just like a double winter. So I'm going to bring my large end over the top of the thin end, behind and up through the middle. We'll bring it back on the right side where we started. Bring it around the back like so. And while you have that over there, you see how this portion here is forward? Just take that and turn it so the seam is facing outward. Okay? That's very important. Now you're going to take the tail end of your large side and take it around through the front and tuck. Alright. I'm going to bring it back to my right side. Cross right on over. I'm going to bring a tip right up through the middle and tuck through this center loop here, just like that. And we're just going to pull that nice and snug, but not too much, just enough to kind of create our shape in here. So as you can see, this is a basic double Windsor, nothing major. Okay, so here's the fun part. Now you remember we turned this portion here with the seam facing outward. That is because we are now going to bring that right up through the center. And then we're going to take that and bring it right through the center portion here. So bring it right down through the center. Nice and smooth. So now our thin end is in front of the large end. From there you're just going to take your make a statement ring and slide it up the thin end of your tie. Just like that. And once you have done so, you're going to bring the tip of your tie back forward and up towards you. And bring it right back through that same loop. Now here you want to make sure that you have it snug, but not too snug, because you're going to end up having to shape your knot. So here, I'm just going to grab and squeeze there, and I'm going to tighten a little bit on the large end of my tie and that way I can kind of create that shape there and I'm going to take the tail end of my knot and just take it and wrap it and tuck back here. I'm going to bring that collar right on down. Now there are a few different variations on this one so if you'd like you could just leave it hanging like this. Um, the way I have it for this knot is basically I'm going to take the large end of my tie, bring it through the middle of the loop and that way you have the one that hangs like that so you can kind of go in there and create your your crease still if you would like um, that's for the more downward version one for the original one I showed you then you're just going to take it and sit it out and it will actually sit against your shirt and that keeps it up the whole time 
And so originally I thought about calling it the floating ring knot, but I decided to call it the hanging ring knot because depending on how you wear it, it may look like it's hanging rather than floating. Um, oh, let me tuck that there. So this one here is not an overly complex knot. It's a pretty basic knot. So if you are someone who is just kind of looking to try something different, but you're not really wanting to get as into some of the more flashy knots that I do, this is a way for you to still incorporate a standard classic style double Windsor with uh, a little something extra. So hopefully you guys like it. And um, of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comment box below. Take care and until next time, take care. God bless. Bye.